okay so for for in doctor we can just replace this transfer function is just like basically a constant which is equal to r for a capacitor that's this thing so like z is equal to 1 over cs so we can assume that this transfer function is defined in s domain using this term and for the um, <clears throat> inductor excuse me z is equal to ls okay so like you can look at uh, impedance as a transfer function that converts a uh, volt uh, sorry converts an input current into the voltage across the element okay so and and you know that it's much easier in many cases to work with um to work with um, in sorry to work in the frequency domain uh, so for example and again I want to re-emphasize that s is equal to j omega right so you have seen this that z is equal to j omega l or like for capacitor z is equal to 1 over j uh, omega c Okay, um, now, <clears throat> excuse me, an example of how this can be helpful is what I'm going to show you right now. So, let's say uh, we have a basic RC circuit. just like takes an input voltage here it can be any input voltage it can be um, a unit function it can be a sine cosine DC uh, many different things and we have an R and we have a C and we want to know like okay so like we have an input which is V in of T and we have some variables here that we can find so one of them is this voltage voltage uh, across the resistor, voltage across the capacitor, we can also find the current. Okay, so we can find Vr of t, Vc of t, or I of t. Okay, so assuming that this is our input, we want to find um, either of these parameters. Okay, so um, we did this in um, Dr. Jeff did this for you guys in uh, ELEX 3130 using um, the time domain formulation if you remember that we solved the differential equation and this is what you found Vc of t it's gonna be um, Vi plus Vf minus Vi e to power negative t over time this is this is how you solve an RC circuit in ELEX 3130 in time domain so that involved um, solving a differential equation now what happens if we solve this in um, frequency domain so this is our VN right we're gonna take it to the frequency domain right so like how do we do that by taking Laplace transform so if it's a DC, then this would be, uh, if it's like K, it would be K over S. If it's cosine, it would be S over S2 plus alpha 2. If it's sine, it would be alpha over S2 plus alpha 2. So you take the Laplace transform of the input, and you want to know what is the output. Now we can define any of these three variables as the output. Let's first do VC of, uh, we want to find VC, right? So first we have to find how these things are going to be related to each other. So um, now using impedance makes this like very simple. We can just basically treat all these, all, both of these two as two imp impedances. And this is just like a basic uh, voltage divider. So Vc is, we see in the, 
uh, in the S domain or in the omega domain, it's equal to um, the impedance of the capacitor, which is 1 over J omega C divided by R plus 1 over J omega C times input, right? So if, if I simplify this, this is the same as if I multiply it by J omega C, this is what we have, 1 plus J omega RC, okay? So the transfer function, it's basically 1 plus SRC, okay? Um, and this is like how you can find the output. Now, the formula that I showed you was for uh, a DC voltage. Okay, so VI plus VF minus VI. Now, now that we have the transfer function of our system, if, if we have our input for any kind of input, we can find our output, which is our capacitor voltage. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a... Uh, it doesn't have to be a, a DC voltage or AC voltage. It can be any voltage for any vo for any waveform. We can find our output using the transfer function, and it, you don't need to take any derivative integral. You just basically multiply the Laplace transform of your input signal to the transfer function, and you have your output in the frequency domain. Okay, and if you want to find the time domain response, then you have to take inverse Laplace transform. You can find Vc of t. Okay. So this is uh, this is how we can solve this uh, system. And just to tell you this, like we can also like have another transfer function that takes the same input but gives us, let's say, V of R, okay? This is, again, it's gonna be a um, voltage divider, but then our V of R, it's gonna be R over R plus one over uh, J omega C times uh, V in, right? Again, if I multiply this by J omega C, uh, you would see that this is what we have for this is what we have for uh, v of r okay so like any of the parameters in the system you can find um, its its frequency response you can also take laplace in, inverse laplace transform to find the time domain response the same thing for our imp, uh, for our current, the circuit current, right? The circuit current, it's gonna be, this one, it's gonna be easy because it's just V in divided by R plus one over J omega C. So it's gonna be basically V in one over R plus one over J omega C. Um, I'm just gonna simplify this. This is gonna be J omega C divided by one plus J omega R C. Okay, and if I replace J omega with S, 